Tonight, we have Lorraine Castro that's coming up. She's our current membership director for CFRI, and she's been a member of CFRI since 2010, and she's going to share a deal that started before she became a member. Okay, how did you buy the deal, Lorraine? <laughs> Hi, everybody. Um, we bought the deal, and I say we, my husband, Richard Davenport, and myself, bought the deal when I was still uh, actively working as a real estate agent, and we bought it off the MLS in 2006, maybe? 2005. Five. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and what was your purpose in purchasing it at that time? What, what did you want to do with it? We just wanted rental. We were looking for cash flow. It was a buy and hold. And you remember what you paid for it? We paid two, oh, 203000 And what kind of financing did you get? We actually, it was back when things were really good and the banks were giving 100% financing. So we got what was called an 80-20 loan, uh, which equaled up to exactly 100%. So no money out of your pocket? No money out of our pocket no. because actually, because I was a realtor, um, we used my commission for closing costs. Awesome. And how, how you, did you find the deal to begin with? Found it on the MLS. Great. And you think, what was it worth at the time? Was It was originally listed for about, started out at about 250, I think. By the time I saw it, it was at 215, and we made a $200,000 offer, and we settled at 203. Great. And then how fast did you get a tenant in? Because you said you held it, right? The, yes, we held it. We didn't, need any, we didn't need to do any work to it. So we were able to put a tenant in there probably within 30 days. And had you landlorded before? Was this a new? Yes. Thing? No, okay. it wasn't new. We had landlorded before mm -hmm. um, the old um, uninvestor way. <laughs> And yeah, we had other tenants. And how did the landlording go over the past, because it's been 12 years now? It was um, no complaints, actually. We had about six tenants in the 12 years, but our most recent, we never had a problem tenant. We had tenants that had to either relocate or a job situation changed so they couldn't afford the rents anymore. Um, and our most recent tenant needed to downsize because it was a fairly large home. So she just wanted to downsize and she had been in there three years. And how did it cash flow over the time that you owned it? The cash flow was actually pretty amazing. Um, we had an adjustable interest rate on that back when the rates were about 6%, I want to say, mm -hmm. and it was an adjustable interest rate. But since then, because of the downturn in the economy, it, every time it adjusted, it adjusted down. It went down as far as low as like 2.25 at one point. So our cash flow, when the interest rate was that low, our cash flow was actually higher. So throughout the course of the 12, month, of the 12 years, um, our average cash flow was about $600. Obviously, when the interest rate was really low, our cash flow actually was a lot higher. And that was per month? Per month. Right, because how low did your mortgage payment get when the rate, when the rate was really low? Oh boy, when it was uh, 2.25, I think our payment was about 389, right? About three, it went down as low as about 389. So the market helped you with the rates going down, yep. obviously. Mm -hmm. And then what happened 10 years after? Well, after 10 years, like right, I guess it was last year, the tenant, when she decided to move, at that point, the interest rate readjusted into a fixed rate, and it was going to be obviously a little higher, so our cash flow was not going to be the same anymore. And you decided to do what at that time? At that time, because it, everything in the house was original, it was a nice size house in a nice neighborhood in Longwood, uh, we decided it was time to sell it. Cash flow wasn't what we liked to have. And um, in order to get a nice, good profit out of it or a, a good sale, we decided to rehab it. So we redid just about everything, and we were right at about 30000 in rehab. Yep. And um, it sold in a day and a half when we listed it. And how did you decide on your buyer? <laughs> That was actually, uh, the buyer was the first person who saw the house. Richard and I were out of town uh, when we listed it. We tend to do that for some reason. We list the house and go. <laughs> but um, 
we got the offer probably a day, like I said, a day and a half into it, and we were out of town, and we wanted to enjoy our vacation while we were away, so that first offer actually met our needs, met our bottom line, so we took it. <laughs> we could have probably gotten more for the property if I had let it sit on the market through the weekend, but being able to sign off on a contract, knowing that we were pleased with the outcome was sufficient for us, and then all we, we were able to relax and enjoy the rest of our trip. And was it a strong offer? Was it FHA it offer? It was a cash? strong conventional offer. Uh, the, the buyers were actually uh, had sold something, so they were going to have like about a hundred thousand dollar down payment. The house sold for two sixty three five with a hundred thousand down uh, conventional conventional loan, no closing cost involved. Me being a broker, I actually listed it myself, so we didn't really have um, commission on our side, just on the buyer's side. So the numbers worked. Great. And so overall, for between your sale price and your original purchase, minus your 30,000 repairs, you made about 30,000 from the sale, but also you had 12 years of rents. Right, so, so. you got about says they're about 80,400 in rents, and it's probably more than that. We would need a whole algorithm to figure it out because of, kept changing. Because of the changes yeah. of yeah. interest rate, but it was, uh, it was a good cash flow. House. And one thing for the people in the audience that are afraid of landlording possibly, because I hear people say they don't want to be a landlord sometimes, what do you think helped you keep that rented with good tenants that whole time? It was in a nice Seminole County district uh, area, decent school system in Seminole County. It was a larger home. It was actually in a community that was not an HOA community. People like that as well. And um, so location. It was close to us. Yeah, we were probably about what about seven miles from there. So oh, easy, easy wait, to manage. Wait, you said about three miles from okay. there. <laughs> so it was very easy to, my, to manage. Awesome. Uh, but we had great tenants all the yep. time. Great. Screen, screen, screen your tenants, yes. and you don't have horror stories. Yep. Great. Any questions for Lorraine? Yes, absolutely. Question uh, was, did you pay down your mortgage at all during that time? Yes. We always sent additional funds into um, the principal. So our principal had come down quite a bit. Okay. Lorraine, I was just kind of curious uh, about the property management. So you did not turn it over to a property manager. You and Richard both took yes, care of that. Yes, we still self-manage our properties. Me being a, in the business, I still choose to do that. Any other questions? Well, what kind of repairs did you, did you do when you did it? You said, yeah, we saw the kitchen. The yeah, kitchen's beautiful. Yeah, we, uh, we basically renovated just about everything. We, well, not. You had kitchen, a Kitchen, the we, house is, was, is a four bedroom, three bath. So we had three bathrooms to redo and we redid the whole kitchen. Um, flooring where it needed it, mostly the bedrooms. We got rid of the bedroom um, carpet and put tile. But your roof was already The done. roof, we got real lucky. In 2009, there was, I think, a hailstorm or something came through, and the insurance covered the roof. The AC was new when we bought it, so the only work we ever really put into it was the reno now, and throughout the years, we probably replaced carpet once in the... Um, in the bedrooms, and then we changed lighting fixtures. In the past, we didn't actually change them now. Great. Okay, thank you very much, Lorraine. Thank you.